Lord, the uh, biggest video I've been making is about uh, moving forward in your walk. Um, you know, uh, sometimes you run into obstacles, um, you know, whether you're coming out of rehab and, and you know, that's where your real walk begins is when you start encountering things that, uh, you know, make you feel like uh, falling back on different things. So I have a, a couple of uh, scriptures that have to deal with that. And uh, the first one is Isaiah. 43, 18 to 19. But forget all that is nothing compared to what I am going to do. For I am about to do something new. See, I have already begun. Do you not see it? I will make a pathway through the wilderness. I will create rivers and the dry wasteland. Amen. Um, so the next one is um, Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good, not for disaster. To give you a future and hope. The next one is uh, Philippians 3, 12. I don't mean to say that I have already achieved these things or that I have already reached perfection, but I press down to possess a perfection for which Christ Jesus first possessed me. No, dear brothers and sisters, I have not achieved it, but I focus on one thing, the getting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. Press on to the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Christ Jesus, is calling me. And, uh, yeah, so with that being said, um, you know, I found this great book today, Jimmy the Alley Lever, and I found this great book, and it's called Still Standing. Addicts talk about living sober by a healthy censorship. Uh, this is a tricky book because, I, you know, I just picked it up and I, on the back of it I was reading that this, you know, this girl that wrote it, she, uh, she was pretty hardcore back in the day. It says, Story is Hill. And Bucky Sinister sober since February 19, 2002. And the veteran of the Trump Rock has spoken words. She will begin her stories from the French of how to get sober, stay sober, and live sober. Sandy Hill is about stories that heal you and the hard times that don't kill you. And, uh, yeah, you know, I think this is a book that a lot of us need to read that are in recovery because, um, you know, you run into things and it's easy for us to give up and, you know, here's, um, let me just read to you a little bit on this chapter, but I'm going to kind of change it so I don't uh, use the, the curse words in here. So, it's called The Ethics. You guys know what I mean, right? <laughs> the Ethics are what you have when you feel like getting up every day, especially in sobriety, over something you're going through. Effort is what you say before you do something really stupid. Recovery is too hard. Effort. Not drinking is boring. Effort. The fourth step is unreal. Effort. What I found with the uh, effort is that they seem to come not when something horrible happens, but rather during a series of tiny ones that add up to a real hassle. It starts with missing the bus, then breaking your shoelace, then getting splashed in the car that went too close by the curb, then they land and backlash and use some attitude, and the vending machine needs your money. That's when over a buck fifty I put in the machine and got nothing back. I feel like drinking whiskey and killing people with an axe. While the big ones, death, breaking up, and money trouble get really hard at times, there are such other things to go over that I don't even consider it. I usually take action and go to a meeting and call my sponsor and friends so I don't really see those as much as they read that spirit. Those little things in life though really mess me up and take this into control. They bring up feelings of the world is, is messing with me or there really isn't a God and he's pissed at me for not believing in him. These are the thoughts that are a standstill. You get you get sucked in as soon as you set up loving it. This is why the effort scare me so much more than last big traumas. And yeah, you know, out of experience that, you know, yeah, sometimes, you know, when we start this walk and from recovery, um, you know, we have to work out a lot on things, you know, things like employment and, and different things, you know, our relationships with, with our family members. And, um, you know, sometimes things aren't going to go our way, you know, that life is still going and, and things aren't going to go our way, and just because that happens doesn't mean we have to lose again. So, you know, I try to put on some, um, 
you know, talk to you guys about some experience that I've gone through and try to post up uh, some things that might happen through these times. So this is a great book once again. Uh, I got this at the library. It's called Standing Still by Bucky Sinister. And it talks about those different situations in the library. And so uh, with that being said, I'd like to pray over this video, Father God, in Jesus' name. I pray, Father God, that this video reaches out there for uh, Addict that is still struggling, Father God, to whatever phases of recovery you might be in, Father God. You know, uh, once you get out of rehab, that's when the real challenge begins, Father God. So help us, uh, you know, deal with the things in life, Father God, that, that arise, and those things that we can um, deal with, Father God, I hand over to you, Father God. And, uh, you know, just help us uh, have the patience, Father God, to, to go through these things and not, not uh, go backwards, Father God. Let us move forward, Father God. And uh, with those scriptures uh, in the beginning, Father God, let us that be the promises that you give to us, Father God, that we endure these things, Father God, um, that you'll take us to a better place, Father God, for it is promised in your word. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Thank you, everybody. God bless you. Bless you.